Greetings everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a visual graphic opening. Sometimes sometimes they're called like stingers or bumpers. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that using Filmora. Here's uh, an example of one right here. So just using your signature hopefully you have a, a signature in a, in a PNG format uh, I will show you how I created something similar to that so uh, I'm gonna just walk you through my process so the first thing you need to do is find a short little song that you can use like a, a, an, a it's like a 10 to 15 second song and they do have them available uh, unfortunately it requires a subscription to Storyblocks but if you go to audio and uh, you know royalty free music you can actually uh, set the duration to really really short you know between I don't know 10 and 20 seconds or 0 and 20 seconds and then you know, go up here to high to low but that's if you have a subscription I already have for my students they already have a folder which they can choose from that I, that I've saved. Unfortunately, if you're a YouTube user, you, you, you can't do this, but there are ways around it. You know, there's other uh, uh, subscriptions you can buy, or you can try using YouTube and going to Audio Library. This is music for content creators. Sometimes they have uh, royalty-free songs. So if you don't, if my students don't like any of the the songs that I have chosen for them, which is saved into their uh, Google Classroom folder, they can always go onto YouTube and look up this, you know, little video uh, or audio library channel. Uh, I would definitely try to stay away from using copyrighted material because then you know you get the, the the big boys coming after you and whatnot so and this is just for a little intro anyways for your for your videos so if you you know there's all kinds of songs to do and say you, you find one that you like so like this one you just want to use like 10 seconds of it so say you like this 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 groove Say you like it a lot, you want to download it, but you don't know how. What you have to do is share it. You want to copy this right here. You want to copy that link. And if you go to a this website, YouTube to MP3, this is a, a great little site. You just paste that in there. I'll leave that site right there. Uh, I just think you look up YouTube to MP3 video converter. You know you have the right one when it looks like this. You just hit convert and make sure it's on MP3. I've never really tried to do MP MP4s, the videos, because they never work, so it's always MP3. So I just hit convert. It's going to initialize it. And then you'll be able to save it once it gets done converting. All right, then you want to download it. And it's going to pop up some kind of rogue advertisement. And you'll see it pop up. It's right there. It's going to be in, in your downloads folder. So that's how you, you can do that if you say you find a song that you like. Now, if you're one of my students, you're going to want to go to uh, uh, your Google Classroom and go to your assignment, to wherever it is, the instructions. And here are the, the music that you can look through. Now this is only for my students. And if you want to see what it sounds like, you basically, <laughs> unfortunately, you have to go through some of these to find one you like. So you just double click on it to give it a preview. And then just hit play. And it hits play. There you go. So, go to the next one and see if you like that one these are all very very short songs so once you find one that you like you're gonna hit download so I already did download mine and here's how you download you just go up here download and you know save it uh, and 
I always open folder. I want to see exactly where it is. So there it is. That's where you need to go when you uh, upload it into Filmora, but we haven't opened up Filmora yet. All right, so th I, this is how I just go through my process, and I don't know if anybody else is different, so you don't have to do it exactly how I do it, but I just like to listen to the song first to get an idea of what do I want to go with the visuals. So I'm going to open up Filmora, and you want to go to File, New Project, and these are all the different sizes you can do. If you want to do this for Instagram, you obviously want to choose one-to-one. -one. If you want to do uh, like a regular computer screen, you want to do widescreen or, you know, standard 4.3, whatever whatever you want to do. You can try it out. I always usually do widescreen just because that's the kind of default uh, setting. All right, so I do that, and then where it says media, this is where all this stuff is. Now, there's another audio that you can do, the audio that's included in the Filmora uh, software, if you double-click on it. But these songs are kind of long, as you see. It's like 221, so they're not really bumpers or stingers. Uh, that's what they call it, and I guess, in the industry, these short little 10 to 15 second uh, songs but you can obviously crop out some of the songs you don't want so say you do like this song you just go down here notice I just dragged it down there and there it is on your timeline and I always like to go right here because it kind of fits everything beginning to end on the timeline and you can see it's it's over two minutes long so if you hit play <laughs> And then say you wanted to end it there after that, or maybe you wanted to have it like fade out. I just keep hitting play. I'll stop it around 13, and then I click. That's turning it up. If you see this this green bar that runs right there, that's the volume. So uh, if if it's not loud enough for you, you can click on it and drag it up to it's super loud, and that'll blast your eardrums or say you want it nice and quiet in the you know in the background it's still pretty loud though uh, but anyways we're going to cut this right here so I'm I've clicked on it you see this red this red line is is very very it's where you cut stuff so I don't really like to hit that as much I rather right click and hit split so I'm right click on this sound file and go to split what it does is it cuts it right there I don't need this part so I'm gonna you can see how it's highlighted I click on it right click and go to delete now when I hit stop it'll go right back to the beginning and hit play Alright, so then I kind of want it to fade out. So let me go here. I'm going to fit it on the timeline. And when I put my mouse over this uh, clip, you see these little white things in the corners. This is actually your fade out. If you move it up there really carefully until you see those two little white triangles, if you click and you hold down the mouse button you can just drag it like this and then it will fade out so right now it's going to start fading out around six seconds so now when I hit play and you'll hear it getting quieter So you can do that, or you know, you know, pick one of these songs that you like. If you don't find any in uh, the folder that I have or on YouTube, you can. There's all kinds of songs in here that you can try, and you can use this to shorten it down to like 14, 13 seconds, and then just do a long fade out. So I'm not going to be using this clip, so I'm just going to right-click and delete it, 
and I'm going to go to media and I'm going to import I'm going to import so media audio we have titles to do titles uh, transitions is how we do transitions so these are like basically where you're going to be going a lot is these up here I normally don't use split screen we won't use split screen for this we'll be using these three and these these actually all these right here except split screen so I'm gonna go to media anytime you want to add stuff it's always media so we need to start dragging some clips in so I'm gonna import a media file and uh, for you guys it'll be in your downloads the one you download from that folder but I've already downloaded the entire folder onto my desktop and it's right here music clips and I believe I want this one right here so open that up and you can always preview it when it pops up you just double click on it and it'll play over here so it's basically around 11 seconds so I'm gonna add this in you can hit that add button right there that'll add it in or you can click and drag it whatever I like I definitely like to go over here to make it uh, fit all of it on there so when I hear the song I try to match up like the beats or the the feeling the emotion the mood to what I want it to portray with the video clips that I use so when I think about when I when I see this you, you, this is where you you use your imagination and you kind of think, well, what is this? What, what do I want? What, what am I trying to say uh, for my channel or for myself? Or, you know, we're just doing this for a project, but uh, it's kind of like an embodiment of your personality. So when I hear like little clips like this, I, you know, I try to, to try to match the graphics with the music. Uh, so I'm going to bring in my signature and see, see what, see what's going on there so you're gonna have to import your PNG signature one of your either your colored one or your your watermark I prefer colored so you can see it better so you're gonna import media files and hopefully you've already saved your your PNG somewhere in your laptop or on your computer wherever it is uh, mine's on the desktop so there's my signature it's in PNG form so I'm going to add this in. I click and drag, or you can hit the, the green button. Now notice it's not as long as the song, but that's that's okay. And, and if I hit play right now, because I just dragged it, you know, willy-nilly. If I hit play... Okay, that's kind of boring. It's very static, and nothing's really going on. And I kind of want it to start at the very beginning. So... I'm going to click on this and drag it to the beginning so it starts right at the beginning and then if I move my mouse right over here to the end of this I'm going to click on it I'm clicking I'm holding it down I'm going to drag it all the way till the end of this clip and you'll see that green line pop up so you know that it matches the other media that's already been placed in there so hit stop hit play Again, very boring. So I think we're going to try to add an animation, and I, I probably should make this a requirement. There needs to be an animation. So what you're going to do is you're going to right-click on this and go to Add Animation right there. You can experiment with the customize. It's going to be a little bit harder than the presets. I would suggest using just a preset and you know you can double click to see what it looks like and you, if you double click on it it'll actually put it on your signature and if you don't like it you just hit edit undo and it got rid of it did you see that so if i do the vort the the fade out if i double click on it it adds it so if i hit play or stop and hit play it just faded out so edit undo I don't want to do that I want to do a vortex in so double click on it now if you notice right here is the animation that's how long it is but I want it to to stop right when that 
bass drops or that the beat drops um, and you can hear it if I hit play right there so what I'm gonna do is I want it to spin all the way till there so I'm gonna grab this white circle click on it and drag it to right about where that beat is and obviously you can move it back and forth until you get to where you like it so hit OK stop play that was perfect again you might have to move it a little bit this way or a little bit that way uh, a lot of video editing is is stopping something playing it over and you just play it again and again and again and again just to to get it just right I know this 10 second clip could probably take me you know up to 20 minutes to try to uh, edit it just to, to, you know the way I like it so again hit stop hit play just I would really like it to fade out um, but, but let's look at the the requirements right here so you use your digital signature in the PNG form and it's colored so that's good now you must use at least two video clips um, so now you have to you, you know the music you know the feel the mood you got to find a video two video clips that you want to use so again I cannot stress enough uh, Storyblocks is great a subscription there because they have all these free you know clips you can use like animated backgrounds and uh, I, I just they're just really really cool you can just download them and then you can use them I already kind of uh, saved a bunch of those for my students that are again in the folder right here here's an intro animation video and all you have to do is basically double click on one to play it if it ever opens and then you so here's one with the wolves if you wanted your name to come up with that you know go to the next one maybe this is just a bunch of lights turning on and your names coming up so when you find one you like, again, it's still, you know, here's a countdown. Go right here, download. You can use more than two, obviously, but I want you to use two. Uh, and if you noticed, you're like, well, there's not enough room for two. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. So find two that you like, download them. And if you don't have a subscription to, you know, uh, Storyblocks or Filmora, you can always go to YouTube and maybe look up uh, stock animated backgrounds and see what you get. Some people are, are nice about that. No copyright. Look at there. Uh, so you play all. So say you like this one, and you want to use this one, but you're like, how do I download this? Well, there's an easy way to do this. So you go right here, if you have Filmora, where it says record, you go there, record the PC screen. And this is going to pop up right here, and then you just, I'm already recording something, obviously, but you uh, hit record is going to play it I mean it's going to record it and then when it gets done it's going to populate it into your thing right here and then you just drag it down and you can crop it uh, but my students I want you to use the ones that I gave you so everybody else you can figure that out uh, just find some clips that you like so once you find what you wanted to use you're gonna import those these are the two videos so I'm going to the animation video clips and I'm going to choose this one and uh, let's do this one right here or yeah so you hit open 
and there they are now you see where I put this sometimes can be right there it can be right there I actually want you to have two in between them so I move the signature up to the top there's two more areas to you know to, to fill in for the video so what I'm gonna do is I want I want it to kind of open with with this one so I'm gonna put this right here underneath it's got to be underneath your signature now this might pop up you want to keep your project settings you don't, you really don't want to match to media always keep to project settings so now when I stop hit play It's just gonna stop all of a sudden right here but I kind of want to use this one too underneath somehow so here's where I think a lot of experimentation helps so I'm gonna move this underneath and see how long this is and that's pretty long right there if we hit right here yes so if it goes beyond your song obviously you want to move this right to the end right there I'm on I clicked on this file right here this video file I'm gonna right click go to split it cuts it right there I don't need this part anymore so I'm just gonna right click and delete so now it's gone so if I hit stop and hit play All of a sudden it just bam goes to that maybe I want that to fade out or maybe I want this to be kind of seen underneath that this is what's great about Filmora and the and the fact that it's, it, it mirrors Photoshop and the blending modes you can do so I'm gonna click on this top one right here you don't have to do this but it's really cool if you do <laughs> uh, you right click on it and go to show properties so I'm on this video file, show properties. Now where it says compositing, I like to, you know, uncheck it and then check mark it again just to make sure I'm on that one. And where it says normal, I'm going to uh, change this to darken and see what happens. Or multiply. You can kind of see it's already, you know, interacting with the one underneath. The ones that I use a lot, and I'm not saying you have to, I use Lighten a lot, and I use Screen a lot, because you can see both of them at the same time. So now when I hit Stop, and I hit Play, and you notice that sometimes the it's, it's kind of choppy, so this little thing this you've seen it pop up it's a render if you hit this render preview it kind of plays it in a smoother playback so you don't get that choppiness so every once in a while maybe hit that if, if you're you know hitting a playback so now when I hit play it doesn't it's not as choppy now it still ends all of a sudden right there so but don't worry about that we can always be, there's ways around that you can either all right I'm on this file you can either right click and go to speed and duration and right here it's nine seconds and I need it to be around 11 so you can move this thing down or if you see these two arrows pop right here if you click and drag you can actually drag it to exactly what you want it so maybe it's 11 15 I don't know what it is so hit OK and you'll see oh it extended it all the way there now obviously I have some cut off there so I can cut that off you know maybe split that and right click and delete now this makes it run slower but it's so unnoticeable because it's you know a couple couple seconds that you won't even notice so hit stop, hit play.
Or, let's take for instance we didn't do that. So I'm going to edit undo all this. Edit undo, edit undo, edit undo. Alright, so maybe it stops right there. Maybe I wanted it to end just on this. And I wanted this this one to kind of fade out. Now if I go back here to the requirements. We have the digital signature. We have the two video clips. Uh, we haven't used any of these. We've used the music clip. It must be shorter than 12 seconds. We, we're only thing we have to do still is maybe put one effect, one element, and you know type in ty uh, presents. So I'm gonna go back here. Hit OK. We're out of here. I'm gonna go to transitions. Now there's all kinds of transitions to use. Some of my favorite are, is Dissolve. I love, I love, I love Dissolve. I, oh, I, I even heart it because I love it that much. If I drag this down and put it right at the end of this and then hit play, you'll notice that this will gradually f dissolve into this. So hit stop, hit play. there it's gonna fade out and it's, it's much nicer than that abrupt stop so there's one transition you can use you can even use a transition to end on your signature as well say you know you can just double click on them and see what they look like uh, there's all kinds of different transitions you can use so say you like say you like this one. You just slap that on the end right there. And I'll jump I'll start right here. And then you can see that's a much more satisfying ending maybe. Maybe you don't like that. You just right click delete it. Maybe you wanted uh, a different a different one so maybe a warp zoom we'll see what that does and you can even extend these if you wanted to start earlier to to uh, do this transition so if I hit you know hit it right here and hit play and then that leaves enough title for that again it's all about just experimenting with lengths and all this other stuff different transitions I don't know if I like that or not um, Maybe I'll try, uh, uh, oh, what's this one? Did I do this one yet? I think I did. Uh, let me try a pinwheel. Maybe what that, what does that do? Yes. So if I hit play. Yeah, so there's, like I said, there's all kinds of transitions you can add. And that's why everybody should look different. Uh, if there's a wave one. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, I, again, you can always see what it looks like. It kind of ripples everything. Uh, maybe I don't like that. So find one that you like and put it on there. And, it, again, it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, different experimentation and everything else. Let me delete that one. I'm not sure if I like that one either. I'm just such a uh, perfectionist. I, I cannot stand it. It's got to be perfect in my eyes. Let me try that one. I mean, that one's pretty cool. All right, so hit stop, hit play. You see it was choppy right there because I need to render it. I couldn't really see what it looked like. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to render it and then hit play because I didn't really see the transitions. I like that. That's cool. All right, so keep color distance on there. So maybe I wanted it to start uh, black instead of this screen. That's where fade comes in. This is another one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to click on this, drag, and put it on one of them. Put it on that one. It's way too long, though, so I need to shorten that tremendously. But then it's still 
you can still see that. So I need to put one on this as well, and I need to make it the same length as the other one. And then, hopefully, now it's black, if I hit play. Ooh, that was really fast, so maybe I should drag it out just a little bit. Because this is pretty short. Alright, so now... All right, so I have three transitions. That should be transitions, my lord. All right, so I got three transitions. I got the two video clips. I got the digital signature with an animated preset. I have not used an effect or an element yet. I have everything else except the presents and effect and elements. So when I look at this, I kind of want when the bass drops I kinda want like a I don't know like a light explosion so I'm gonna go to effects and if you double click on one don't drag it in just you know kinda double click on it you can see nothing added you can see what what it'll do so that's like, like a glitch you got that in case you wanted to blur out somebody um, there's a uh, 70s. I really like chromatic aberration. I don't know why. I just like the way that that effect is. Um, so there's all kinds. There's all kinds to choose from. Maybe you wanted bright lights or uh, uh, seriously, there's all kinds of stuff to choose from that you could use. So find one you like. I think there's there's some that deal with light specifically, like a lens flare. If you double click on it, sometimes you have to download them. So like you can see there's a lens flare going there. I think that's too much actually. But I really like the chromatic aberration. I just like the way that looks. So here's how you do that. You find out where maybe your your name pops or your name stops. So it's like right around there. I'm going to drag this down and it's going to go above above your signature. And I want it to stop or start right pretty much right when that ends and only do it for a couple seconds because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna do that for the length of this filter or this effect so you can actually make this effect way shorter so I'm gonna make it very very short so now if I hit stop hit play See, kind of shifted a little bit there. Maybe I wanted to add maybe another effect, uh, like another light effect. There's all kinds of light effects. I just have to find them. Like I said, you can spend a long time in here just looking up, you know, trying different things until you're happy with it. Like the, you can see the flare moving around. Um, maybe there's all kinds of lens flares so find one you like uh, oh, there's so many I forgot which one I used um, oh there's even oh, extreme I like those those are pretty cool like VCR distortion that's kind of funny if you want it to look like a, a distorted or a TV wall like I don't know. Y y again, have fun with this, people. So I'm going to go try a, a, a lens flare that I really like. And you can even download these from Wondershare Effects. You can't get them from Storyblocks because they usually just deal with After Effects, which is a, a program I don't have. Um, well, actually, I do. It's on Adobe, but I just think this one's a little easier. Filmora effects is the one you kind of want. You can actually download, you know, different effects and stuff if you have a subscription. Uh, but I think what what comes with it is pretty good. What they what they include is pretty good, uh, especially with the included ones. So I'm gonna choose another one to put on there. You, like I said, you only had to use one, but I like I like to you know make it my own and go above and beyond what's required of me. 
so I'll look for another uh, lens flare. There we go. Maybe put that right, right there. Maybe have it run that long. You can always shorten it, obviously. Stop. Play. And then you can see the lens flare working right there, and then it's gonna. I don't like the way it it stopped all of a sudden. So actually, I'm gonna. actually going to run it all the way to the end because I, I don't like the way it ended like that yeah I like that uh, that's good all right also we can add an element if I go back here must use at least one element elements are pretty cool the, the included ones these are just things you can place over top. So if I double hit, double click, you can see. Okay, we got a, a, a clock, maybe oh, this, a heart. You know, there's all kinds to choose from. Blue energy. I, I'm I'm not sure what's included in in yours, but I really like this this these kind of blue energy ones. I kind of want that to go around. And like I said, there's all kinds to choose from. Arrows. These are kind of nerdy. Uh, kind of kind of derpy actually a little bit so I like I like the blue energy so I'm going to move this down and again it's right on top it's it's its own it's, its own layer see we have multiple layers now so if I hit stop and play now you saw it it was very quick but if you click on it up here you see this bounding box I'm on this layer I double clicked on it and if I click up here you can actually move this and make it smaller or stretch it out if you want it to like maybe kind of frame your signature you know make it look like it's more cohesive and I'm not sure if you can extend this out or not. I believe you can still change the speed and duration even if you if you want it to, to last a little longer. So right now it's one second. So maybe I want it to last maybe like two seconds. So it'll extend it out. And then I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit this because I haven't hit in a, hit it in a while because I want a smooth playback. Again, a lot of video editing is playing it over and over and over again until you get it right. In your head, that is. So hit stop, hit play. Nice. So I fit all the requirements except must use title to say presents. Because, you know, you're presenting a video. This is your. This is your animation. This is your opening. This is what the when people watch your videos. If this is what you're doing, um, this is the first thing they see. So you kind of want to, you know, wow them a little bit. So I'm going to hit OK, and wherever that red dot is, is where you know you're going to add stuff. Just remember that. Um, and if you do drag it into the wrong timeline, you can always go to Edit Undo. Uh, so just remember that. So I'm going to go to uh, Titles. And again, there's so many to choose from. And a lot of them cover up the whole screen. I would not use one of those. Whatever you do, don't use one of those because it'll cover up everything you've already created. I would try to get one where you can see that girl in the background. You know, you can see it's kind of small. Um, I like simple ones. I don't like really extravagant ones. That's just me, though. Uh, and you can always move them. So say you like uh, lower thirds. Say you like, you know, this one right here, whatever it is. Just double click on it, see what it does. Okay, that's what it says. Or this one. Maybe you want it to pop up, or you want to, you know, you want that. I'd say lower thirds are pretty good. Maybe you want um, some hearts. Or whatever that is. Oh, that's cute. Jack and Mary. All right. I kind of want just something simple. 
but kind of I don't know kind of eye-catching so I you know something simple like that where it's that it pops up so I'm gonna put this right at the end right when it starts to disperse on the name right here but maybe I don't want it right there so I'm gonna click on this but here's where it gets tricky because you might have different elements in in that so if, say you want to move this over here that means you have to move all the other ones too so I'm gonna move it right there say so I click on that and then you gotta move that over here see so you, you say I want it on this side or dude there's all kinds of stuff you can do with this say you don't even want to use this all you gotta do is double click on it click all of that and hit backspace it's gone so okay so it's not gonna really show up but I do want this to say presents so I'm gonna double click on this and you can see right there your title here so you can just type in presents or maybe you want it in all capital and hit OK now if it plays right now that is too far away so you might have to move that closer if you have you know an element like that you might have to move certain aspects of it and say you don't want it that long you can actually make it shorter if you maneuver your mouse around you can actually make it a little bit shorter so it matches the height of your letters oh jeez or if you don't like it at all maybe you can hit backspace and get rid of it I'm not sure uh, maybe not I'm just trying to spitball here I kinda don't like where it is maybe I'll just try to get this and move it up right see that's what's I wish you could zoom in on it and uh, like Photoshop and really manipulate it better maybe I'll just extend it down so it's above and below alright so let's see what that looks like hit stop hit play that's way too long though so I got to uh, pause this I got to click on this and then you can actually move this shorter like that so it doesn't run so long and then say you want to change the font again double click on it double click on that you gotta double click over here so it pops up over there you can even change the font or change the style even if you want it if you don't want that white maybe you want it to be blue with a little thing like that on there I wonder if you can do the same thing over here nope maybe not our color I don't know I've never really messed with these too much I'm just gonna leave that alone I you can't really see the presents very well so there's all kinds of presets I'm gonna choose one that it's kinda similar there we go hit OK now see what that looks like from right at the end and then you know what I want that to fade out too so you can actually do transitions on those and I usually just like to do a, a, a when it's ending I just like to do a fade you can do whatever you want though so choose a transition that you like um, I just think it's classier this way and I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter so hit this I'm just gonna render it and then stop play and then let's see how it fades oh perfect fades out the lens flare kind of stays I, I think you can even do no maybe not you can't do a transition on a on an effect um, but it's still pretty solid maybe you wanted to fade this one out too so I'm gonna fade that one out too because I kinda want it to end in black or at least the, the lens flare
why did it pop up like that? Who knows? But you guys get the idea. You can I could sp spend hours tweaking this to to where I like it. But you can see these are all the effects that you've done, and it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Uh, and it's kind of addicting because you can you just want to you know constantly improve on your skills your editing skills and matching it up with the music and I think really good uh, video editors you know understand about composition and perspective and and matching it to the mood of the music if there is any or the soundtrack so hopefully you have something you like and then when you're ready to save it if you're not done obviously just go to file save project as and save it as you know intro whatever and then hit save if you want to save it as a video file it means you need to export it so if you're totally totally done and you're ready to make it into an actual video you hit export and then this is gonna pop up make sure you know where you're saving it I'm saving it on my desktop just make sure you know where you're saving it it might be saving it into your Wondershare folder and you have no idea where that is so if you need to change the destination all you have to do is click on this little white folder just click on desktop so you know where it is and then just hit select folder so you know it's always going to be there then change your video to intro graphic opening and then your name and you can change the settings usually it's it, right now I want it on mp4 but you can see all the different kinds of files you can save you can even save it as an mp3 but it's just gonna play the song and you won't do any of that so you want it to be on mp4 if you want to change the settings I, I don't know why you would I always just keep it you know where it is on the defaults unless it's you know for something specific so then you hit export and it should start saving it and you can see it save it's gonna be a pretty quick save because it's only you know 11 seconds long or 12 seconds long so it shouldn't take long and then once it gets done that's when you can play it so I'm gonna hit find target just to see where it is there it is alright and if I hit play or double click on it there's your intro opening and you can upload that into Google Classroom obviously it was I'm in teacher format but it would be add when student work add create right here and then upload uh, file you want to do file and then browse and then you find it and attach it uh, if, in case you forget all that uh, I don't know why you would because you've done it numerous times in the class in the stream how to submit work in Google Classroom for assignments that require upload you can watch that video in case in case you forget so hopefully you you've created something that you're proud of and looks kind of uh, you know classy and and professional and uh, that'll be the the opening intro to the next video editing project that we do. So uh, happy filmmaking, my friends.